Are you ready for some HD streaming with your video games? Yeah, me too. That's why today we are going to take a look at the Elgato 4KX USB capture card. This is part two of my little video series here in getting this card up and running. Uh, as you can see, I've already got it prepped over here because I'm gonna do a little demo here in a minute. So let's get to it. So I got that StarTech USB-C card installed uh, last weekend and I went to hook up the capture card and everything was working fine, but I was trying to move some stuff around and somehow ended up pulling the cable the wrong way and I broke the end of the cable. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> so I had to wait for another cable to come in. No big deal. Um, got a new 3.2 USB-C to USB-C cable. And we got the Elgato capture card hooked up, got it connected to the computer. Um, I went through and I'm using Streamlabs for my streaming. And also, by the way, I'm using Streamlabs for my podcast and these talking head videos. So I highly recommend that if you're not using Streamlabs and you do any kind of recording like this, you need to go check it out. Uh, it's, they have really come a long way in some of the features they're adding, and the quality is amazing. So uh, definitely go check them out. And you'll definitely want to hit that like and subscribe button if you've liked this content, because I got a lot more coming up. Oh, and don't forget the bell icon. So we get the card hooked up, and um, I went into Streamlabs and you know set up the streaming, and I was like, oh, great, this is going to work awesome did the stream and it was terrible. So a little word of caution, make sure you check all of your stream lab settings because I did not have the video, the bit rate. I didn't have any of that set correctly and the video and the audio was terrible. So once I got that situated, I, the video was fine. I did do some color tweaking to kind of get some of the colors to look a little bit better, uh, but the stream itself looks great. Now, let's move on to the audio. I use a SteelSeries Nova Pro headset. It's got the DAC, and I don't really want to use two separate mics because of how I have my setup, which as you'll see in a moment, is a nice big fat cushy chair sitting in front of my TV in the middle of my room. Um, I don't really have anywhere to mount it. I mean, I do have a little table I usually keep next to it so I can put drinks and whatnot, but I don't really want, you know, cables strung across the floor and I just want a clean setup. So I have a chat link cable and at first, I started using the Chatlink cable with the headset itself, like they recommend. And I just, again, I have wires and I don't really, I wanna use it wirelessly. I wanna use it like I'm supposed to be using it. And I got to thinking, wait a minute, the DAC has a line out port. You can set that line out port on the DAC to be set to stream and as opposed to speakers. So everything the DAC is hearing, it puts out through the line out. Well, the Elgato capture card has a 3.5 stereo in, so you can do analog audio recording on the Elgato and then capture it in Streamlabs. Perfect. So I have the chat link cable coming out of the back of the DAC from the line out port going to the line in port on the Elgato 4K capture card so that way I can capture all the audio. It's still hooked up USB to the PlayStation. So my headphones are capturing all the 3D audio, the great sound, everything is normal there. And then it transmits it in stereo through the 3.5 port. Yes, you don't get the surround sound, but I mean, that's not, I think as big of a deal. Now, my only complaint is the audio isn't really that great but it's definitely good enough to hear what's going on and complement the video. The video is really the key thing that I wanted to uh, make sure it looked great. And I've got that, I think, pretty much dialed in. And so this setup has actually worked out perfect. Um, I can't actually be happier in how it worked out. Now, I wanted to initially record in 4K, 
but I did discover that the computer, I was having some frame drops. I was able to do it, but I was getting some frame drops. Now I have gigabit internet. Um, I did set my bit rate correctly. And I just think that the computer is just having a hard time keeping up. So I lowered it to um, 1440 at 60 frames and video quality is perfect. So I'm more than happy with that. It's a much higher quality. It looks much better than the 1080 did look coming straight out of the PlayStation. I always thought that video just looked really choppy, even though it said it was 1080 at 60 frames. I don't think that it was, um, but this way it looks way better. And yeah, the audio is not as good, but it's good enough. And I'm able to use a regular webcam on the computer as opposed to that complete garbage HD webcam that Sony has for the PlayStation. Yeah, don't buy that. Not worth it. I happen to have an older Logitech C930E. It's a 1080p webcam, so it's not you know super high definition. And I've got it mounted on top of the television. And as you'll see in the videos, and, and it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I will say that even with the light from the television, most of the time I'm getting enough light um, that it illuminates me well enough. I'm sure I could add some key lights or do different things. But again, where the camera is located because of how I want my setup, I'm doing it by choice. If I put any kind of you know key light or camera like in front of me close, you're going to see it, and it's just it's not going to look good. I don't I don't want that. So um, this really is kind of a set it and forget it for me. I can come up here, I can turn my equipment on, I can get the PlayStation going, I can hit record or go live on Streamlabs and just start playing and not to worry. I put my headset on, use my mic on my headset, and I just play and it's just super convenient and that's what i wanted i wanted an easy solution to do some hd gaming use a webcam and just have a good time because that's really you know all i want to do <laughs> you know, i'm not like a competition gamer i'm not making a bunch of money doing it where i need all this super fancy stuff i just want to have some you know decent video quality i would like to have the webcam and uh just go out and have a good time. So that's what it's all about. So I'm gonna give you a little demo of what my setup looks like and how well it works. So we are going to head over there to my gaming chair and we're gonna check that out. All right, so we're gonna do a little game test here and I can show you exactly what my whole process looks like and what my setup looks like. And I think it's awesome. So as you can see, I've got my SteelSeries headset on. I am talking through the mic and the mic is being picked up by Streamlabs, which you'll see. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Now, one thing I really like that I wanted to show you real quick is the app that Streamlab has uh, that allows you to control your stream from your phone so you don't have to be necessarily directly in front of the computer, which again, works out excellent for me because as you'll see, uh, my computer sits behind one TV connected to another TV that's three, four, five feet away. Uh, I do have a wireless mouse that I can use to start and stop as well, but um, I wanted the ability to use something a little more convenient, and this is it. I can do the go live, I can start recording, save the replay, I can do some configuring. Uh, it's got all my different devices showing up there. I mean, this app is really, really well made. Okay, so as you can see, this is my gaming environment, and I absolutely love it. Nice, comfortable chair. My steering wheel fits right in front of me. Uh, for this test, we're gonna do a little Gran Turismo drive. This is my um, S90D OLED Samsung that looks fantastic. Over here is the other Samsung. I uh, forget the model number. Uh, it was a free one that is connected to the computer, which is doing the streaming through Streamlabs. And as you can see down there at the bottom right, you can see as I'm talking, the meter moving. So it's catching all the audio from the microphone and the game. So there's the webcam that sits on top of that TV. And as you can see, the little uh, section there that shows the webcam. Again, that's not the greatest of quality, but it's fine for now. Uh, I'll probably end up upgrading at some point, getting a better um, camera that can do a little more crisp and clear picture 
but for now definitely okay and again here's another reason why you use a wireless mouse so i'm sitting here in this chair controlling the mouse for that tv slash computer i do need to get a wireless keyboard however i thought i had one but i couldn't find it so i had to use that wired one so if i had a keyboard and mouse i would be able to just do whatever i needed to do for the stream um so yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this, really. This has actually turned out much better than I thought. I originally thought I was gonna put the other TV over here, but it just works better over there. Plus I can actually utilize it for when I'm doing some of my talking head videos and my podcasts. So that works out really, really well. So uh, another cool thing, and I'm gonna show you here real quick before I actually go live is I actually have, um, here, let me go to a different screen here and show you. So you go to settings. And this is one thing I didn't realize about this that I absolutely love is when you go to stream, it gives you all the options of where you can stream. So as you can see, I have my YouTube channel already connected. I have my Twitch already connected. But down here, I also have this channel and that's my small screen dreams channel that is basically just focusing only on Gran Turismo the practice I'm doing for the trip that I'm taking in September, where me and my two boys are actually going to Germany to drive the track. We already rented cars, hotel, everything's set up. We're doing a nine day trip. It's gonna be epic. That channel is gonna be following that journey and I'm gonna be doing some really amazing content on that channel. So if you wanna go follow that and check it out, again, it's Small Screen Dreams on YouTube and uh yeah go subscribe like follow along because that's going to be a pretty epic journey so i've been doing a lot of practicing on gran turismo in preparation for that trip so anyways i wanted to show you that because i can stream to two different youtube channels and my twitch all at the same time that's pretty amazing and i can also include some of these other services like i, I don't do you know TikTok, instagram facebook i don't stream to any of those but if i wanted to i could stream to all of these so super powerful software. Um, I really love it. So let's get into Gran Turismo here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on, as soon as the screen loads, I'm gonna go live. So, all right, go live. You can check or uncheck any service you don't want. I've already set, like you can set your title, description, all kinds of information. I could automatically put a thumbnail if I wanted to include it. I don't have one yet for that because this is just kind of a test, but um, there's some other settings you can do for this um, stream latency and things like that. So let's just hit confirm and go live. And it is going to go through and boom, there we're live. And we're just gonna go race. So right now I'm full 4k 120 hertz on this stream that is recording and streaming at 1440 60 frames per second um and it's it looks awesome so uh i don't lose any quality on my actual gaming or the headset so it, like if i'm talking to somebody i'll hear normal audio Don't laugh because I just started driving um, with this screen as like looking from the inside of the car instead of the outside of the car, which I should have been doing all along. So I'm not quite 100% used to it yet, but it's a much better vantage point, that's for sure. It makes you actually feel like you're driving. I just can't be running into people like that on the actual track. <laughs> And in real life, I don't really think a Volkswagen Golf GTI is going to be able to pass a Ferrari like that in the corner, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a game. Whoa! Look at 
gonna try to bump me off the road. What? What? <laughs> the turbo whistles pretty sounds pretty cool. Dang, these bot cars, man, I'm telling you. They are aggressive. That dude just spun me around. I guess they don't like being passed by a Volkswagen. <laughs> out of your way of course I can't do that in real life so I normally try to be a little more precise but I'm just playing around right now just want to show you how awesome this is The car I rented to drive Nürburgring is an actual Volkswagen Golf GTI that's uh, specced for Nürburgring, it's specific for the track, so all three of us can ride and drive. So, even though, yeah, driving this doesn't actually prepare me for that car, but I, I think it's fun to kind of drive the same thing that I'm going to be actually driving on the track. I just can't be doing stuff like that. <laughs> And yes, I will be driving as fast as I possibly can, depending on traffic. We're going to be driving the track during a, what they call a tourist day, or tourist time, where they open the track up basically to anybody. So, you have to contend with a lot of different, you know, cars and motorcycles and things on the track. So, if it's a busy day, we might not be able to get a super fast run, but definitely be able to have a great time no matter what.
love that little chicane right there. Super fast. seven seconds on him so I should make it this poor little car doesn't have quite the top end that I'd like it to have <laughs> only 170 so much fun gosh i love it uh, a lot of times i'll uh you know if i've had long three or four laps or something i'll sit here and i'll watch the replay because i like watching this aspect of it so i can see how the car does and some of the different lines you can take on the track obviously i'm just messing around here i'm not trying to you know drive perfect by any stretch of the imagination um but there are times when I really put a lot of effort in to driving good quality laps. And I've actually pulled off some pretty fast laps on here in the game. Not that I'll, again, do that necessarily when I'm there. But, uh, man, I just can't wait. It's going to be such a good time. Um, yeah. And actually, ironically, this chair and how it sits, sits pretty perfect for playing so i can't complain with the chair so anyways and that's it that's you know just so much fun so much fun so you know here's the uh elgato device and uh yeah this is it pretty awesome So just want to give you another quick look. So there's my SteelSeries DAC. That's the chat link cable that comes out of, the, you can see it back there, comes out of the back of the DAC unit, goes into the Elgato. And then you can see that's the computer back here. Everything's hooked into it. It's kind of nice and out of the way. Webcam hooked to the computer. And the computer is hooked to that TV. So again, amazing amazing setup at least i think so so i would sure love to know what you guys think about that and if there's any other you know people you know that have gaming setups like that um man i'd sure love to check it out so give me a link in the comments section and if you have any comments questions or uh, just any thoughts also put them in the comments section i'll be happy to get back to you and all of these things that i'm using like the elgato Streamlabs, the steering wheel all those things are linked in the description the Elgato links are not affiliate links. They're just going to their website. Uh, this particular capture card is not available on Amazon as of yet. The Pro, the one that actually goes in the computer, that's a PCIe slot card, is there, but the USB is not. I'm sure at some point they'll add it. The 60X 4K card is there, and I'm gonna to link to that too because it's a little bit less expensive. It can still do 4K, not quite um, at the levels that what this can do. So yeah, you might wanna just go check that out. But this setup has been a lot of fun putting together. It's been a lot of fun getting it where it's fully functional. And yeah, I just can't say enough about it as far as how satisfied I am. Um, again, this isn't for everybody. 
I'm not a professional, you know, competition gamer, so I don't need you know, that type of setup. I want something comfortable, something that's fun, something I just come in, literally hit some power buttons and boom, I'm playing and I'm going and it just isn't a big production uh, because that's really what I use it for is just, you know, to have fun and maybe blow off a little steam or, you know, do some headshots or... <laughs> <laughs> modern warfare whatever um we're playing the new x defiant me and a buddy of mine so um we have a good time doing that stuff you definitely want to hit the like subscribe button hit that bell icon you'll definitely want to go check out this video here on the part one of getting the USB-C installed and how you can upgrade your old computer if you've got one and we'll see you in the next video